Hi, welcome to another episode of the Sankofa Pan African series. This episode will be celebrating the life of another legend, Nat Turner, a freedom fighter. Please, let's, if you have not yet subscribed, take a quick moment to do so. Thank you. Accounts of Nat Turner's life record that he was born on the 2nd of October, 1800, in Southampton, Virginia. His mother, an enslaved African woman, instilled in him a passionate hatred of slavery from a very early age. He managed to learn how to read and write before he was sold from his original place of birth in Southampton, in Virginia, uh, when he was in his early 20s. He was an extremely religious person. And just like Joan of Arc um, in France, um, or even Moses in the Bible, Nat Turner was very, very religious. And he was nicknamed the prophet because he believed he was called by God to lead his people out of bondage. He was an extremely um, energetic preacher and other slaves looked up to him. He was sold again in 1831 and soon after that, he believed that he was sent a sign by God in the form of an eclipse of the sun. He interpreted the eclipse as a sign that the time, the hour for him to strike was near. Accompanied by seven other rebellious slaves, Nat Turner and these other freedom fighters launched an attack with the aim of capturing the armory at the county seat in Jerusalem, Virginia. They attacked on the 9th of the 21st of August, 1831. Unfortunately, they were thwarted by an armed resistance made up of local white people who were soon joined by the state militia, a force of about 3,000 men. Nat Turner's group almost made it to the armory, but a few miles just before they could get to, um, to it, they were defeated. Some of Nat Turner's freedom uh, fighters were killed and others captured. Although Nat Turner resisted his pursuers for a few weeks, he was finally captured, tried, and hanged on the 11th of November, 1831. The Southern Whites then retaliated by slaughtering many slaves. As brief and as unsuccessful as Nat Turner's attempt was, it left a number of legacies. First, his rebellion brought to an end the myth that white Southerners had been spreading for a long time, that slaves were content with their lot and too servile to mount um, an armed revolt. Secondly, in some parts of the South, black people began to measure time from old Nats war. They did not call it a rebellion, they called it a war. And the name Jerusalem developed a double meaning. Now, black churches throughout the country also started using the word Jerusalem, not just in reference to the biblical city, but to connote a place of freedom. 
as a way of commemorating the place where Nat Turner and other freedom fighters met their death in an attempt to end slavery. And echoes of this use of Jerusalem as a place of freedom can be found in old Negro spirituals. So please don't forget to subscribe if you've not yet done so. Like and feel free to share our videos. See you next time.